Y'all got all these seats in here, and y'all going to sit right on top of each other. <laughs> Isn't that weird? You got to watch these media people, Lori. I'll tell you what. <laughs> no, I'm cutting up with y'all. Okay. This is for the players. Uh, how did it feel coming out of uh, such a long break? Uh, did you feel a little rusty at all, or did you feel, like, supercharged? I'd say we were good. Um, we came out a little slow, but i say we were good. We, um, we actually uh, – we got the energy going towards the second half. Um, I just say we came out a little slow, but we picked it up at the end. Um, I think we came out really good with good energy because it started when we were on the bench cheering for our team. Then once we got out there, we were amped up to go and do what we needed to do. Y'all good? To me, uh, talk a little bit about the, how the reserves played. Everybody on the uh, everybody scored tonight, uh, uh, today. So uh, go a little further about how how ready y'all were, even the uh, even the reserve players. Um, I think it starts in practice. In practice, everybody works hard, and we work on shots that we're going to take in the game. And then once we come out and warm up, everybody is ready and prepared to do what we need to do in the game to get some buckets. Well, if y'all don't want to, you don't have to, really. I, they're just doing great. <laughs> well, Cam, there was, was a, little, a little bit of sloppiness with turnovers in the first quarter, but they, they seemed to catch themselves and, and really go on a run in the second quarter and really take control of the game. Would you talk a little bit about coming out that way? I don't want them to hear it, but you somewhat expect it. I've been doing this a long time, and when you have a long period of being off, you go home for the holidays coming up, all that, it takes you out of sync. Um, I didn't think the offensive end bothered me as much as I thought we were really rusty in transition. We just didn't seem to be as quick. And then I thought defensively we allowed way too many points. And then in the second half, I have had a different group, a, a smaller group in there at the post, and I thought they gave us a lot of um, energy. And then I think everybody just started picking it up from there. Coach, you had a, a stretch in the third quarter. You, you, you kept Ryan and you, you rotated four new players in, in a rotation. She was the constant, I thought, in terms of the facilitating offensively, she was, she was terrific. Uh, and that kind of just, it just kind of, the rest of the team was terrific in terms of sharing the ball today. Well, she had seven assists and zero turnovers. So that's the first thing I look at. And that's, I don't care who you play, I don't care what the score is. Um, she was not sloppy with the ball. Um, and I just felt like that, um, you know, rest KP, rest Lex, you don't get much rest when you start SEC play and, and you're playing in big games, give your younger players an opportunity to get some experience. But the most important thing is I tell them, I'm not giving these minutes free. I'm not giving these minutes because of the score. You have to produce when you're out on the floor. So every few seconds I was asking the coaches, what's the score of that group on the floor right there? And I tell them in timeouts my expectations. And I just thought – that every time there was a media timeout or a timeout taken, I'd ask them, do you know what the score is? You're outscoring them this, you're out, you know. So let them feel uh, something positive and, and feel success. And so you stay out there. I mean, really, everybody played half a ball game today. And they all scored. Uh, when that happens, how can you not be uh, happy for, for every one of them? Kim, you shot 62% mm -hmm. season high by far. Um, is the whole idea of playing defense to, to fuel your offense, you, you feel like that's really caught on with them? Well, I think our speed and quickness on the perimeter is as good as anybody in the country. Quick hands. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, I'd, I've had some great ones throughout my career, but collectively all three of those guys are really point guards, and they're playing all three perimeter positions, and they do it very effectively. Um, so we're small on the perimeter, but and, and we understand that. So let's let's use that quickness to our advantage. Okay, it, it looked like Jalen was not 
available. She's great. Let me say this about Jalen. She had MRI. Everything's good. She's clean. No tears. Nothing. She and I are both like. So why is she sitting? But I keep my mouth shut because that's up to the trainers and the doctors. I think just to make sure she's mentally back to what she was before she was scared. She went up off that leg and it gave out on her, but there's nothing structurally wrong with it. She's back in practice doing things, and I think it's just an opportunity, a stretch here where they just like, let's let her get back in the flow. Uh, but nothing has absolutely no swelling, no nothing. She just said, Coach, I just got scared, I think. You think she'll be ready to play Wednesday? Um, I don't know. That's a good question because I've learned don't ask. You know, it's kind of like um, if you don't ask, the surprise will come, you know, and if you keep asking, it just seems like the delay continues. But I don't ask. I just wait for them to tap me on the shoulder and say, Coach, she's good to go. To me, uh, with, with Jalen not available, you, you were the first guard off the bench. Can you t t uh, uh, jump into that challenge to get more minutes and, and, and you know, kind of show that you can t handle this? Can you rephrase the question for me? Tonight with Jalen with unavailable, that, that changed your, you know, the, when you got off the bench tonight, you came in early and, and you seemed to, 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 to uh, fit in real quickly and, and, and ran, the, ran the team and you know, it was a nice moment for you. Yeah, when I came in the game, I already knew my coach's expectations and I knew that I had, what I had to do when I got in. Tamia is a, she's flashy. I love that. I welcome that behind the back, but you better make sure you complete it. It gets the crowd going. It gets her teammates going. Now, what we have to do is sometimes, you know, corral it and say, take away two or three of those turnovers. You tried to hit the home run there, just take the single. You've already hit two home runs. So that's just being a freshman. But you don't ever take away the things like that that she does because I think she's one of the best penetrators we have against zone defense. She will make people take you, and then she can deliver the pass. So the, the turnovers that I think were bad, she's going to hear about them. She's going to see them, and I'm going to take her out for those because that's the only way you get her to understand. Don't forget what you do good. We want all that, but just make sure. And, and the other thing is she's got to make sure her teammates can handle those passes. A pass is not a good pass if your teammate can't handle it. I've seen people that play like Tamia, and they'll hit their teammates in the – face with the ball because they don't have quick enough hands. So that turnover is going to be on Tamia, even though in our world as point guards, we think, well, she needs to catch that. Some of them can't. So it's a, it's a combination of just learning what your teammates can and can't handle. We good? One more. One more. All right. Cynthia said it was a charge. Oh, God. Did she come in here, Cynthia Cooper? What a great uh, – history she has in our game, guys. And um, she um, got her all those WNBA championships, Hall of Fame, Naismith Hall of Fame, played at USC. We had many battles as as players. And, yeah, she, did you notice before the game, I'm walking down there saying it was a charge, and she's saying, you know, great, great, um, great memories, you know. And it's good to see uh, her coaching, and, and uh, she's, um, she's a legend in our game. She really is. Uh, when you look at her resume, it's, it's outstanding. She said the official called it. <laughs> I asked her today if that official was her relative or from the West Coast. No one ever answered that. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.